When we, we shall see a mandible and maxilla, essentially the disease is affecting the mandible and the ma uh, and maxilla and then the eye and the ear. So there is the a remaining part for the head and neck, especially the thyroid. So because it is an endocrine gland and it is found on the head and neck. So it can be discussed here or in the endocrine pathology, but we will discuss it in the endocrine pathology. Uh, so here we really essentially look at the malformations and then the mandible and the maxilla. Uh, and the, uh, so maxillofacial uh, pathology and then ear and the eye. So that is in general what we intend to cover in this uh, presentation. So the book is essentially the Robins and also the surgical pathology, Rosa and Ackerman surgical pathology. So uh, we start with the developmental abnormalities. So the developmental disorders uh, come when there's a failure during the process of set division and differentiation into various tissues and structures. So some can be identified clinically others by uh, x-rays or uh, CT scans and others by histology. So uh, here we, if we start with the a kind of definitions, uh, so we have many types of developmental disorders. So inherited, it means the, uh, the, they are different for, from developmental disorders because they are caused by abnormal genes. So inherited, and there is a, there you can understand that it, they are genetic, so they are inherited from parents. So the parents may be normal, but if one is having a, a mutation which is recessive and another one a mutation which is recessive, once there's a, two mutations, they, they, they come together in the offspring Spring, then they will be expressed. So a congenital disorders, it is something which is present at birth. So it can be acquired in utero or it can be just hereditary. So it was just a genetic genetic inherited. It can be acquired in utero, but not being not being inherited. So inherited means you, you find it in genes. So, uh, yeah, so the exact cause of most congenital abnormalities is usually unknown. So for some, you can guess that depending on the exposure, if the mother has been exposed, let's say to radiation, to some drugs and so on. So, and that's why usually uh, there are some drugs which are not allowed to take by a woman who is pregnant because they can cause some malformation to the child. So genetic factors are uh, often due to genetic uh, to uh, genetic factors such as chromosome. Okay, malformations are often due to genetic factors such as chromosome abnormalities. So trisomy and so on. So environmental fa uh, factors are called teratogen and the carcinogens. So teratogens would inhibit malformations of gavio. Now carcinogens inhibit cancer. So they are different. Although one, one factor can cause both. So when we have the bomb atomic Japan, so they cause both cancers, but also malformations. And also others, they, they get cancers because of the that exposure. So they can they can be both. Uh, so the examples are here infections, drugs, and the radiation. So if we start now with the development of the matrix of the teeth, so there are many, they are classified according to the number of teeth or to the uh, abnormalities on the size of the teeth or abnormalities on the shape of the teeth, abnormality on the tooth structure and abnormality of tooth eruption. So here we have five types of abnormalities, five classes of abnormalities in the teeth. So 
coming back to the abnormality, the number of teeth, we can have anodontia, meaning there is no teeth. Of course, the music I'm a man, I'm a DJ, I'm a merera, so I'm going to say, I'm a meze, I'm a kegashira. So, a person I have not seen any child of that, but it can ex it exists according to the literature. So, hypodontia, lack of one or more teeth, I'm going to call it a man, I'm a chayam, who you know, uh, who, and they, usually it is not easy to identify which are missing. Maybe incisive here, they are missing on this, uh, this pic, uh, picture above. Maybe inc two incisors are missing. So, uh, but you can see, uh, when I was in the I was Atarubuku, Karubuku, can have a little hypodontia, quite in a way I could. It was a local avatar in Jesamir. So there are things we consider as a vitamin difference, a trade of the Chama say, Vinavirango Giza, Inya, Marigold, and even that, but in the medical, in medicine, they are considered like abnormalities. So uh, supernumerary teeth, extra teeth found in the dental arcade. So there are some people who have more than uh, uh, the normal number of teeth. So Murabi is a common 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 number of teeth. Rimwe na rimwe ari ni azari yo yita ibihinje kana mu Kinyarwanda. So apart from that from the number so we we, we will have you you saw that there is a there is a picture of on a spur numerary teeth which is on the other side right. So consider the abnormality in the size of teeth we have in microdontia like here maona kan mu amenyo mato and you can have a macrodontia mu nafite amenyo manene cyane. So and uh, then, uh, so supernumerative are shown here. Around our monastery, you mention apparently, uh, Kubera Ko Utaraja no Kubijigo Hano, Unan Beragumba, Rohan and Go Hedge Tango Hasi, Agomba Kubari, four incisors in a canine ebziri. So Uyu Afite five incisors, one, two, three, four, five, six incisors. Then Okawana Kana in Rehano Nin. So we forgot the other thing of Tamen, you mentioned over the Hindi Chirane, Nimatoya, I recommend. So you have to have to in the Chanea Rona, Harina, and Yokuzamuka, Achirimo has such a Kuzigan, whatever, or Zanura, Queraco, Ataza Kumurongo, New Hango, Amas in Berechang, when you may andy, so Kujara, everything. So this may that uh, from formation of, of extra tooth buds in the dental lamina or from the cleavage of existing uh, tooth buds. Uh, so may occur in the eight that deciduous or permanent dentition. So umgana mutoya shawarpejira utarata uti uchimera deciduous. So you know that deciduous teeth na nara menu akuka agasi murwana and permanent dentition na menu monajira. I I agum agum ba kuguma na pe zasha aje iyo rikutse na agori simo kumiindi. So most of the time this happens in the maxilla. No wa kona kujira ame ni menshi. Most are found uh, on the radiographs as you can see here. Kwa menshi aguma mama sen hago abalagara ejo. Ah so this is uh, I think the issue wa kona kuvuga ba na ba ba di suka di chani changu vi nuri mo vi more amasukari menshi and so on. Uh, that may be true, but there are other factors. I know Sanga Mori Familia Nuka Tajira Menu Mesha Sanga Nuva Kunoya Menu Ainja Chiranje Nugo Mavarewa Arimusi. So germination occurs when a teeth, a single tooth germ attempts to divide into two. So the other Rimia Kurgasha Kukui Gavanyamo Abiri. Uh, so they have one root and one common pup exist. So fusion then amenyo aratera na huyu ashwa kujira amenyo manene gutya so ngiri ryo hasa hangaha. It is one of the incisive. So we have four others here. 
two others here then in the Fatanya. So the union of two normally separate adjacent two full terms. So all these are the abnormalities. So in Yangabiga dental surgery, Changa said dental therapy, they, they will know what they will do in these cases. So, and they, uh, of course, in the, our country, the, there is a tendency to extract any tooth, original, cerebral, infection, even macaricurum. But uh, there is a speciality uh, for the restorative dentists where they do their best not to lose any tooth. So, for the other way, of course, Vakaribaza, Vakazari, Chiza, Batarikuyam. So, probably when we will have, we will have. Uh, a postgraduate training in a, in a dentist with dental surgery, so probably we have such services. Otherwise, uh, we have a few specialists in this field. So we have a concrescent, two adjacent teeth are united by cementum. So I don't know, usually discovered in a diagraph, if one of the teeth needs to be removed, both usually come out. So now abnormalities on the tooth structure. There are those who have enamel hypoplasia. So enamel tumor amenyo aba umwe rukande akamare mare wano afutukinyo tugufi kande hagaragara ho binubiri brownish because enamel is not enough. So enamel it can be about be be hypocalcified meaning there is no enough calcium. So there is also androgenous staining of the teeth. Before I go, I will say that many of you are actually aware of that. At that point, you are going to have a physiology. So regional odontodysplasia and so on. So here we have uh, a normal hypoplasia resulting from fluoride ingestion. And we fluoride the conduct of the channel. The Mozavana Muri, I am emitive voyage shaman, you can be a can shaman for the more Mozavana behind it. Fluoride me, uh, so Mozavana behind it. Moniva Birguanya called a fluoride, they are a detailed trust of commands. So you will read on their covers. So, and this was due to congenital syphilis. I think last time I, I talked the much about the syphilis when we are discussing about uh, vascular diseases. So we can have also a hypoplasia enamel resulting from local infection or trauma. Uh, so enamel hypoplasia of another tooth may result from infection of a deciduous tooth. So remember, infection may use a chirumana ikazajira ingaruka kuri kume nyo azajira anya mugan. So a single tooth is usually affected, it is referred to a turna, a turna tooth. The color of the enamel may change from yellow to brown, or severe pitting and the deformity may be involved. So maybe that there are conditions that they don't discuss because maybe in the developed countries they don't have the maricum the monoban hanova bavukan hanova hamena hamne avenge avanova avenge wajira menyo menyo yumu hondo changasana orange kwera ipirida yao so, how about how about how to react to in that kind of changes? Is that maza? We want to go by fit by risk. So we we show our fellow kubera isuku. We end up with the chance. We are just going to have to have one see exactly why it happens. That is, we have to have one to see how much more we are going to have to see how much more So that is not discussed here. Kakom. What you have is from usually developed countries, so they don't have a issue with the hygiene. Uh, so the inner hypoplasia resulting from the fluid ingestion. So affected teeth exhibit a motor discoloration of enamel ingestion of water with two to three times the recommended amount of fluoride leads to white threads and chalky opaque areas of enamel. So me ngira ngo mujya mwibona umuntu akagira ibindi bintu byo meka kumenya ataro ko atayoza ubwo bitewe naya mazi akoresha cyangwa se ibyanwa so ni mu 
kwa muganga ba ba kuri ita detaritrage. Kwa rako is the flex mu gifaransa gita taritre. Taritre so bya bense bisa nari bintu byingwa byo mesa ariko bikomeye. Tubije kubivanaho mu buroso bidashoboka cyangwa kubyikuraho bisaba ko kwa muganga ariko bikuraho muri ibyo bita detaritrage. Ah so ni bintu umuntu aba ashobora gukoresha wari wese ntabwo nzi niba mitiwere zibyishura mu busanze cyangwa se niba bifata nka esthétique koko bintu bifaka nka esthétique za mitiwere hano mu Rwanda nyinshi ntabwo zibyishura So four times the recommended amount of fluoride causes brown or black staining so understand So if you have been a sovereign or a co, a book or a nana, a nana, a nana, a shins, a man's, you have a bar, a sack, and a kumenya fluoride, ivirimeramas, watanga, ni nichin, changes. So a hand in a wona gum, who go on a Tanzanian association of a dentist, Zigenzo Ripovin, who's Kayanzora, Imiti, Twitter, Corrugatin, Indio, Savings, and Hio, Yosa Menu, but I genzo and better pitch, what we saw, Aripe, Hansari, Corrego, Majihugu. Akawanza kuikuwa kwa yushuje ibi vinu kwa sekwe angu taza njiza menye ya wano. So, here of course we don't have such a, maybe there is an association of dentists, but I don't know if they are so far advanced to do so. Kwa wana wanda kwa wana handa wana wana wanda itse protocols niwi. So, so as dental surgeons here in the class, so I think they will contribute in all these things. And maybe you can start it while you are still a student. So animal hypocalcification, this is a differential abnormality, uh, anomaly resulting in disturbance of the maturation of the animal matrix. Usually appears as a chalky white spot on in the middle third of smooth crowns. So underlying animal may be soft and susceptible to caries. So androgenous staining of teeth, the result of the, the position of substances saturating systemically uh, during tooth development. This may be, for example, tetracycline stain, erythroblastosis fetalis, compatibility yarosis, and maravis hematology, adahoje groupe, yamaraso yarosis, a uh, negative umwana akaba positive kare wenda yayikuye kuri se aho ngaho hazama beta erythroblastosis fetalis so hari erythrocyte nyinshi zicwa zo umwana kwera antibodies z'uko byeze hari zishobora gutambuka bikajya kwata ku mwana mu kumwa ataka rero globule rouge z red blood cells zimwe zitichwa ni so so that is what is called erythroblastosis fetalis also, there are some children who can have neonatal liver disease and the liver as a, the main uh, uh, industry producing most of the proteins and the other things. So it, it, it the decrease in some substances can cause the teeth to be abnormally stained. Congenital porphyria, an inherited metabolic disease, maybe you have seen that in the biochemistry. So the anomalies of the tooth eruption. So we have impacted and embedded teeth. So embedded in an impacted, impacted teeth, it is the same maybe on the radiographs. So, but impacted teeth cannot erupt due to an obstruction, while embedded teeth do not erupt due to lack of eruptive force. So we can only do that when you have a problem. Ariko radio ishobora kukwereka ko ari ikintu cyatumye hari ryo cyabuje ryo kuzamuka in that case can say it is impacted if you don't identify any cause for for that teeth not to erupt then you can say this is the embedded teeth so the force to erupt is lacking and and uh, as we shall see this has the consequences so whenever the someone has a teeth which didn't erupt Hari consequence turi wane nyuma cyangwa kuna wane mga visomye Hari kubajira tumors, cyst Yobi ta dentigera si cyst Kari na yo itinze mo ibjara amiroblastoma Which is a very big tumor So this is Na hapka kwa wangu ni chinu banari Nibari irijenyo ritame ze beta When you see it, when you 
diagnosed, you, you suspect it, you do radiograph. If it is confirmed that it is there but not routed, better to remove it. So, ankylosis teeth, or if there is an obstructive an obstructing thing, then you can remove that obstruction so that the, the tooth can erupt. Ankylose teeth, for this is when a tooth is a, a, a tooth cementum is fused to the bone, to maxilla of the mandible. So this will prevent the exfoliation of the deciduous tooth and eruption of the underlying adult tooth. So Murabi Zukamenu Abari Muri Muri Kavuga Muri Renfors the Viri Hari deciduous teeth Abari Heshuru, Swano Niyo Bafuga, so they will not exfoliate. Or the underlying adult tooth, you will see a Yoriza, Ibariza, and Yuma, the Sidua's tooth, Yamas and Kuka, Nadjo de Gumamoas. So the ankylosed the Sidua's tooth appears submerged and it has a different sound when a, 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 a percussed. So you do percussion, then you have to do a Honda or Kumba. Yeah, so the sound it makes is different from the others. So exhaust exhaustosis exhaustosis wundi ni igihe igufuka irya ryo serisha risa nerya giza gashami babita exhaustosis ariko mu muri passage of the the bones themselves un fois ça wona de koreshe ijambo osteo chondroma no kuvuga both the cartilage and the bone they have a nova growth ariko kuri ahanga kuri head and neck so akenshi kagaragara nka kantu kakabyimba karimo karimo nkanka ah so uh, it is a benign bony growth projecting outward from the surface of a bone it is sometimes also called the torus when it is one when they are many they are be called tori or tori so for example here we have it here as you can see and here we have two torus mandibularis. So it is a, this person is having a mandatory in the on the mandibular, as you can see here under the tongue. So when you see it, a, of course, a proper diagnosis is is necessary. So you palpate if you you feel that it is hard, bone hard, then you can confirm that it is probably torus, not just a tumor. When it is soft, it can be another tumor. So, question so far? Question. Yes. Uh, about about the uh, ankylosed two teeth. Uh, uh, the adult teeth cannot be ankylosed. Here they Sorry. say the ankylosed teeth just two. can. Anga hakuri ankylosed the teeth just two. Uh, uh, Nizozo njine ziwa ankylosed? Adesiduas. Njirango hanga ito ashakufa nuko iyo ank, iyo, iyo, iri ya adesiduas, when it is ankylosed, biza jira na kwanza kwa nse kuri adat one. I don't know exactly if we can have an ankylosed adat teeth without having the adesiduas ankylosed. I don't know that. So, maybe we shall read on this. Okay. Other questions? Okay, so the dist disturbances in the development of the jaw, lips, the parrot, and the tongue. So there are some things we have covered the last time, like a cleft lip and a cleft parrot. So this is just a reminder. So see, this is bilateral cleft lip. This is a unilateral a kind of shoot call when you call a very she ever will combined a cleft lip and cleft cleft uh, parrot at the same time. I require a very close watch of you. So, and you know that my young woman of Matangas, Kumara, the owner of the Munyamakuru, a social media, and Nahanova, but I have a very shame that anyone from Zamona Matangas over Kuhara and Vazaza, Kubaba, Jirakuri, a hover to half equivital with Turanian Abo. Bahava Sanga, Bakababaga, so Hari Hari Dinawa and Shetang, she is called 
Agnesia and Smile, and never open a smile, and don't remember exactly. Operation Smile, yes. So now I conduct Kurikora. Of course, they do other things, plastic surgery and so on. I cover and the Kanak channel, Kuribing Abi, Kundakuri Kubaga, so Babiji TV, but one of the Kuag Vivari Kuitaro Vinibi, Kuritachi Niko Ni, and Hacho Musisha and so on. So I think this we have said last time, a cleft lip, a cleft palate, then a cleft uvura, the, the middest form of the cleft palate. Uh, so it is a cleft palate with or without a cleft lip, uh, which occurs in one over 2,500 births. So ankylogrossia often called tongue tired. Bomi France with a flail and guard, no more, no, who fit the Harakan Quaker and Mosuru Yumi, Wundi, Ara Hari Ukumun, who are a Kura Munda, Quaya Apoptosis, Kawa Nikaja and the Kava and Waho, no, no, really, Miroka, Rukavasha, Bukora movement. So Arahobo with the Korgarero, a Kariakano, a Gaflain, Kakaguma, Nihaka Dot, Hangase, Nagashashiga, Commenza Gufati Shurimi has. So Ichivazo chiva horo nuko ubudi umunuwe saraga fite aripon ha bokajira ku kuri apex of the tongue yoka hajira njia vivi chivas that is a that if friend of umunuwe habit or vas but it is short so when it is long and it reaches the apex of the tongue it is in that scenario that causes problems so muzamu wana ba ba sana ba na kwamuganga umga na tavoka so I remember when I was working in this street hospital. Uh, there uh, there's a lady, she brought a child of about four or five years. So one got her fugan, one has him half years. So I just uh friendly. So I was upset, of course. Nikutumun who Mazima Madam Amara Numogabo Nava to Renina Navat. Umana Maranich was in Yakitan, now what I want to practice Alaco can call it. Bobum Vacava Ichiraji, okay, sorry to use that term. So, Bumba Kava Ichiraji, Kandari with Jasha or Gabuchemu Kakokan. So, I sent the child to so Narimuri Constrita, so my Samuri Petit should be minus Sajari Pirangova Akokano. Just now, a nasty on the Koran having come in. Vagache, but the consequences in it in Noko, Nago, Wavango, no gacha, Aratanja Kuvoka, Okonhi, Jazafu, Nago is a Ugong processing guy with their language and so on. So, away would the movie who could be retained by Harabovita, speech therapist, younger speech pathologist, Nava, Nava, Nava Nasa Changuchi, Nava Gangava, Severemo, Viji Shavan Kuvoka. So, how about Kumufash? So otherwise, yang wajib mereka counseling ni, mana bawa awak anak, awak awak je ibu bapa kiri, kau beri jawapan untuk fasha kui gak kau fuk, hari mukul. So itu adalah yang saya angkiro grosia, nah cina cari cik cik dasar tu je hari hari poli nak kerja dan saya wajib mengenai orang yang kita kau. So that's why, especially you also as a doctor, when when you there is a delivery at your hospital, so you must always check if the child has no external abnormalities such as these ones even who show up with a monaco kanya changa se ukaga kumubje yi randevu yi visa chemu regunga na atara atara yi gaya ngaru kanam so i remember also that harundu yi zaza avuga afitunga na umu kovga avuga ngo and she has no sex but in kara kanuka kama mna when i was examining hari sa atano kana sinzi ni wana koreshe imbara gaza kwa nyeshi itatano kana so Bivuga ko, unfortunately, actually, mutafiti amezi machengi chenda changi chumi. So, ariko ni abunomariti zingizo awa nubwa wa mbija jemimo wa kubagwe itaba wana kandi waka jenuburujo visa chengu. So, umunga na wana avuka, ariwe mbija jemimo we waka jenda fiti abunomariti zizashu wa guchemu wa kajirikare Akazaza chera ari ije chera rinz na we usawishi temuruha so that's why you must always examine so that and that's why in the advanced hospitals wherever there is a delivery they call the pediatrician to check if the child is normal so kuba kuba ngo ya rize ya rahumekaneza mtu unatera ijo 
nyene ni research but there should be a pediatrician there is a, a pediatrician coming and check if any external or even internal abnormalities they can be identified the kaviona hatchery kare so of course you can understand in our context it is not possible because we don't have enough for specialists to do that but there are there are just simple things everybody can do a nurse a medical a general, a general medical doctor and so on, they can just see if there is some abnormalities they can uh, identify and uh, treat as soon as possible so then we have the syndromes such as the down syndrome so down syndrome of the trisomy makunya urinarimwe so it means and the chromosome is some person when it copy the baby are coming here kuri makunya nimwe zikaba copy shot uh so barangwa nibiki abstracting palpebro fissures cyangwa wenye muri genetic brachycephaly cyangwa se umutwe ubari mutoya kandi yari mutabigira consequence no kugonko ngo bari butoya therefore no no bwenge buje hasi other things they used to have a flat nasal ridge a uh, bridge a hypoplastic maxilla maxilla bari ntoya noneho mandibo ukabona ishaka kubanene epicanthus so anka amaso yabo hari uburyo ubundi amaso abasa natambitse mu gake ariko bo abasa na aberamye oblique so the lateral sides are this is the age of time so you can acquire other things they have a macrogrossia meaning a, a very large tongue and grossoptosis meaning that today so opto optosis means protrusion so there is a protrusion of the tank in the oral cavity so ururi mero haru yanza nta shawara kuru shira mu mwimbe ngo abumbu mu so they have a small ears microtic and the rose set yes so amatwa bari mato kandi atere hagana hasi cyane ubona ko kwari hasi atsa natere kuri mandebo so they have spots in their eyes they have sandar deformity so amano yabo and so on in and the simian crease muzuko tugira imirongo boni nkibiri ariko umwe urimwe amashami hano mu kiganza itatu so yo sana ari imirongo itatu ibiri ari kumushamitse kuri yona ndi itatu minimi ari kwinga bona mu umwe excessive nuko force so afite ibintu bikano bitendera binini naye ukagira ngo mu kubinwa kandi ari abnormality so ngira ngo ikibazo rero cyaba abantu bakunda kugira n'indi bibazo byinshi bakunda kugira cancers and so on cyane cyane nka leukemia acute myeloid leukemia it is one of the complications kandi indwara igo ani kuvura hano mu Rwanda bisana tavurwa nta guvurwe iri mu zishora kuvurwa uretse one of its subtype and nayo bayishize kubera ko twabisabye mu twerekanye ko ishobora kuvurirwa hano so bashimwe barabyemera itangira kuvurwa vuba otherwise that are not treated actually my my you came in so also they used to have respiratory problems ibibazo byinshi kubya hora na ahora kwa muganga we na muganga so ntabwo ari kenshi abana bashobora gukura ngo we narenge imyaka 10 ntabwo ari kenshi uh so this is it, trisomy 21 so we have a feature a cruzon syndrome autosomal dominant mutation in fibroblast growth factor receptor 2 on chromosome 10 so they have a strabismus cyangwa bareba imirari you can see here on the right upper right side they have exothermos so mass as an atrium cranial synostosis so bona beze kumwana yavutse ni gihe akiri mutoya ntabwo amago afite ibyo iti gihori hori so gihori hori cha yes on my side okay it's it's solved i was still seeing the previous slide of the down syndrome is it the same for others it's now solved okay so probably there's a, a slow internet somewhere here or on your side <clears throat> So I was explaining this cruzon syndrome so strabismus imirari amaso maona katareba hamwe ah so ariko muri strabismus 
Hariti wita hyperterrorism. Hariti terrorism. Yeah, terabuwa. Harimo el. So bivuga ko ama sareva mo timge hiri yani timge hiri. So habama na tradisima sawa maso areva areva mohagati. So hiriwa kuruhande ni wita hyperterrorism. So ama so trumbuze. So I was explaining now on this uh, upper left picture, craniosynostosis. I was explaining that the, the 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 children they are born with fontanelles. So fontanelles they are like an open space between the bones of the of the skull. So and they, they this is open purposefully, okay, by God who creates us. So it is because the the brain will have to grow, and the brain cannot grow if these bones are fused together. So they will fuse together when the growth of, of the, the brain has been uh, completed. So you have to go to the next one. So you have to go to the next one. 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 You have to go to the so there is the Sidicornicia, sorry, and then hypoplastic maxilla. Girango Babihurion, Nidia, Pavanget, Trisomi, Fente, and Nanga on a co maxilla in Hoya, Mituma, Hari, Kavuga, Mandibira, Poronatism. So Mandibira, it together got a quarantine, Changwa, Ruga Sarbohas, Uruguay, Kavaro, Koko, Uruguay, Rutocha. Uh, so you will be able to have you want to have our new whole natural area with it because of what coffee the cruise on syndrome we want to coffee the mandible in any hair from corner at all look the men are going to look about and how and how some races can say groups of people in the world and the former as they are chilling in a moment of the so we cannot say that they have a cruise on syndrome when any cover our but there is time they, 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 it is too much it is too much so <clears throat> there is the treacher's collins syndrome so they have a downward slanting so monetism even the opposite i'm also marona ko a laterally amanukahas arahenga mye amanukahas monetism even the it is the opposite abazamuts kumani abazamuts no hegele uzura liwa manuka so mora mara hypoplasia hypoplastic supraorbital uh, limbs so so roa i i read the corobomas so stains there mandibular hypoplasia so now this is different from the previous one yo ya ya left maxilla hypoplasia orikira malformation so these are some of the the syndrome. So no kuwa ko shapo mga na ko kameza gusta. Uh kabi wana u kabi cheka wen no kawanza kukora for up wa ku mga na vutse kwera mechanic zo zo za delivery haruga avuka mutku meza nawi ya matiava yutariko uh very chinorut tawe meza na tema formation in easy zomu mash. Zijanya no mutwe na we tubi wana kokanya vigara garanyu. <coughs> Rodina syndrome, uh, so microfasci, hemifascio microsomia. So usanga muma so watangan, uruhande runga riruto, like this ready, uruhande runini. Mandibira hypoplasia, uh, nimhiria to mazakuona. <coughs> Apa, uh, uh, I read the koroboma, mujie indi, yingit kwa wandri ya di roa, I read the korobomas. And then we have a, a pubirubira derimoid, uh, derimoid cyst, so it is a tumor there. And you have a microsia with pre auricular tags or pits. When I come to tunu, tags, you know, to me, then I go to the jail. So I'm in chair and I'm going to go to the jail. So I want to go to the jail. So nowadays I don't see it. I'm going to go to the jail. I'm going to go to so, but this, of course, one sign cannot confirm there is a golden syndrome. So you have to combine many of these things. Sticker syndrome. So they have a flattened face. Okira findings. So okira findings. 
ni umuntu ukareba abameze nkuri gutekereza uri gushakisha ibintu cyangwa uwabonye ikintu kidasanzwe as this chart is ni uyu muntu mukuru ukameze are kureba nk'umuntu uri kureba kure kuba bangu umuntu ari kureba kare gutekereza cyane but uhusanga n'ane kintu ari gutekereza kindi ahubwo ni uburwa Masculoskeletal bonomarkis and the cleft palate. They used to have a cleft palate, these ones. So, Beckwith's Winterman uh, syndrome. <laughs> so, I think this is a severe syndrome because uh, there is a tumor which is very frequent in, in children called the rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a cancerizing from skeletal muscle. It affects small children usually. So, this is one of the risk factors. I want to have a Beckwith's Winterman syndrome. Your cancer. So one of their features is macrogrossia, very large tongue, macrosomia, obese, obese. So they have ear pits and creases when they have the tags, midline abdominal defects, paroxysis and so on, most of the the visceral organs are the and so on. Uh, uh, so I have not, not seen a child with this personally, but uh, in the literature it is known this is uh, one of the risk factors to develop the rhabdomyosarcoma. So neurofibromatosis. So these are people who have many neurofibromas. You can understand neurofibroma. It means benign tumor arising from the, fibro the fibroblast tissue mixed with, with neural tissues. So neurofibromas uh, syndrome neurofibromatosis and there are two types, type one and type two. So we shall see type two, what is its characteristic. Type one, so they have a cutaneous neurofibromas. So muri histology hari ibyo tureba mo iyo dusanze muri cyuma harimo za nerves zinyuranamo tubyita plexiform neurofibroma duita tuvuga ko uyu muntu most likely afite this a genetic syndrome neurofibromatosis 1. So, Ninayo Bayita von Lecklinghausen disease, von Lecklinghausen disease is the same as the neurofibromatosis one. So, Kubona Afiti neurofibroma to be maturiku mobili, Niching Arikonu, Niba Fitte Twinshi, after Nizi signs in the Zerahanga, was I to check after neurofibromatosis. So, no Tanam checker, a pathologist, if uh, when he or she is uh, looking at the slides, he, if they report there is a place from a neurofibroma, then it's a syndrome, a genetic syndrome, which is a neurofibromatosis one. And then you will know how, how, to, uh, how to talk to them, to the patient, uh, to prevent further, further diseases, or to get treated as, as possible once they get other issues. So they have their long bones are about. So I'm as you can see. Wrist nodule, kuri uh, iris, optic glioma. So glioma, uh, you remember in, in, in neoplasia, glioma, it is a benign tumor. Okay, not benign. It is a tumor arising from, from the astrocytes. So astrocytes are the kunda gukurichira na optic nerve, optic nerve. If you take some gyro cells, then a tumorizing from these gyro cells will be or astrocyte will be if it is around the optic nerve. So you can see here in this scan, you uh, uh, This is the eye here on the left right side or right side here. You see that the eye is filled with something which is very black. This is something which is not solid. It is not solid, no nevitreous fluid. So, and the optic nerve is here below. So, but on here on the left side, you can see that the eye, of course, is the smaller than here. Maybe it is pushed by the tumor, which is now here, which is the opaque whitish. So, it is opaque here. 
So this is a tumor which arose from the optic nerve. So yeah, it, it's a mechanism show how not the is a proptosis we get an nerve. So they have a okay plagues for many than a work to to an to histology and neuromata one neurofibrom. So cafe or sports in who you can have to really really clear can was very dark. Wako njine rwasara numeru ni le ni le le or milk. For those I think you know French le means milk. Cafe is coffee. So, kubera ko urugwa 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 arungeru, it is sports. It is kavazi ya gusana brown. Ninga ho ufashe amata ugashe amo coffee nchini. So, cafe ole. So, coffee to meet sports. But the term the term continues to be in French, of course. So, for neurofibromatosis too, also they have a cafe ole sports. But they develop a schwannoma. Schwannoma, you know, schwann cells. And you can go more of the uh, nervous system in on histology. You know that our nerves, you know, the neurons, it must be surrounded by the cells. If it is inside the brain, the cells will be oligodendrocytes. The tumor messages you that they are not orange any when they are being used physiology. So there are certain those tumor people that because can they protect the neuron, the axon, and when it will come to the peripheral system, how was it was called oligodendrocyte? They will be called Schwann cells. Then it is Schwann cells they can develop the tumors. These tumors will be called Schwann nomas. They are and they are frequent. We see them uh, frequently at South Africa. So it can, this can arise from the acoustic nerves in it around the spinal cord. So spinal cord, it can be organ cord. Spinal cord was called havamo nerves. Z z z. So it is a nerve. So it is a nerve. If we mo, chinga na nerve. If we mo go, na go shwa no matu wakuri hanza ya cranial cavity gusa. Kuko iyo iso se muri brain imbere. Hara Hanivanza Kunura, Mariko, Eva Maricranio, the cranio, intracranio area, Hara Hanivanza Kunura, Itari, without being within the brain itself. So, in that case, the cells which are around it, which are in this nerve, are not oligodendrocyte, they will be shown cell. So, that's why you can see someone can have a, a schwannoma in the spinal cord, a schwannoma within the, the brain, within the intracranial cavity, but outside of the brain itself. So they used to have a subcapsular cataract. So we shall see what is the cataract in our studies in our tissue some more she to my one more woman. So if it is when I will have to go to my usually my baby money lens, JJ and the knockouts of the lens. In that case, we will call the subcapsular cataract. I don't worry about the center of the day. Lens. In that case, it will be it will be it will be nuclear cataract. So other tumors these people they present with they are meningioma. So in general, you can see that for neurofibromatosis too, these people they have a tendency to have uh, central tumors. So uh, in the spine or in the brain uh, around the brain. Uh, so meningiomas, you know, it it cannot be on the peripheral nervous system because meninges. They are inside the intracranial cavity and in the spinal cord. Cherezen here the meningioma the shock was a curry. Haragat chega to come in and a curry chirotic nerve is a curry show. So there are some people who develop meningiomas uh, in the uh, orbit. So that's all for this abnormalities. Questions so far? Okay, so if no questions, we proceed then.
with the development assist. Uh, so the development system, they are uh, development assist are classified as to whether they are odontogenic, non-odontogenic, or pseudocyst. So if I start with pseudocyst, there is a time I mentioned this. Pseudocyst just means there is the no true, there is no epithelial lining within that cyst. So a cyst is the mass within which we have we, we have a cavity and the cavity usually filled with fluid. Uh, so that abnormal uh, mass with uh, sit inside, when it has epithelial lining, we call it a true cyst. When it has no epithelium around the uh, just lining the space filled with fluid, we call it pseudocyst, so not a true cyst. They are also classified according to the location, the cause, origin of the epithelial cells, and the histogenic appearance. So odontogenic then means it comes from the tissue which produces teeth. So the same tissue, the same tissues producing the cyst is the same, uh, is, 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 uh, is the same which gives rise to the desert, to desert masses. Why the non odontogenic it is of course it, it has an epithelium, but that epithelium is in is in having nothing to do with the odontogenic epithelium. So they can cause expansion of the bone, uh, especially where I mean you have a mandible or maxilla. So what if the cyst is within the, within the mandible, it can cause the expansion of the mandible. The Mandi Borunini, whichever I know more, Mori Yama Yama Televisions, I mean, a conduct for a credit and a Yachi itself or Munuai with the Sansway, but we all got an interview with the Sansway. I will look at you. So, and this is when they are intraoceous. So, when they are extraoceous, the this is European soft tissues. So, cysts within the bone generally appear. Uh, appear as well circumscribed radio senses. So radio sense, it is opposed to radio opaque. They may they may appear as unilocular or multilocular. So Nirango Itinero uh Nagomba Kitonera Savad Bakora Dental Sagar Gusanunko. Uh these regions of of the of of the jaws, they are you must describe them well. Otherwise, even the pathologist will not give you the, 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 the final diagnosis. So, this is it was unilocular or, or matilocular. Ko yaje kuvera umuntu yaratsanga ngwenda impacted teeth or tooth. Ichi wana kuri x-ray, if you have a time muha, now he will describe, but not give you the final diagnosis. So, yeah, this is a field where a, uh, but this is very important. This is very important. So I remember just a few months ago, there was a case. So they did the bone marrow biopsy. So on the bone marrow, we, you could see that there are abnormal hematopoietic cells. So Zari Nishi, Kanumunu, Kuri Ajaya Tamba Kujira Nishi. But we could not see that this is a cancer of the hematopoietic cells. So then we delayed the to report. We are just discussing what is this? Can we move around more? Why? After that, we know we move on. But they didn't give you information. So we did many further testings, which are expensive, so that we we get the diagnosis. But uh, the, the final diagnosis was not reached, so we described that just what we saw. So, and where, and then after weeks, weeks now they told us, okay, you know, this patient is having a tumor within the, okay, he, she was having ascites, abdominal ascites, so a lot of fluids in the abdominal peritoneal cavity. Okay, then we told, why didn't you tell us before? Because they, what we saw, Although, although we saw many cells, many hematopoietic cells, there was no cancer there. So we thought this is reactive to something else. That's why we described it uh, as such. 
But if you could have told us that he has, she has other problems, maybe you could have correlated. So then uh, I asked you, so why don't you send the patient to us so that we we take we take a, a, a part of that fluid and they examine. So when we, we examine the fluid, peritoneal cavity fluid, there were many cancer cells. So most likely arising from the ovary. So I just say this because it has delayed to have a diagnosis just because the doctors they didn't want to, to give enough information. Uh, so uh, in in the dentistry, it is more more cumbersome when there is no info, uh, information. So fortunately, what I saw uh, wherever I have been, the dentist dentist uh, dentist usually they give enough information, so they they are very helpful in uh, when it comes to their collaboration with pathology departments. Uh, so. Now, uh, as we saw, the, this can be odontogenic, not odontogenic, or pseudocyst. So we shall discuss a few of them because they, they, they are a, they are many type of many types. So odontogenic cyst meaning that they they have in them the uh, the tissue from which the teeth are formed. So we have a dentigerous cyst, we have eruption cyst, we have primordial cyst, odontogenic keratocyst, calcifying odontogenic cyst, lateral periodontal cyst, and the gingival cyst. So you need to stay Arikonhanovoso Sezirangi and Zindinich. So we'll discuss maybe two of them, dentigerous cyst and the odontogenic keratocyst. So dentigerous cyst and Ibuzo Kareko Ikundaku Zahan, Hari, and unerouted tooth. Which is shown here. See that here we have uh, teeth which have erupted, but there is one here which didn't erupt. And you see that around it we have this pocket, maybe filled with fluid. So this is a system. And uh, when you have this information that the patient had the impacted tooth, uh, and then the cyst is unilocular, you, you will be very confident to confirm this is a dentier cyst. We see the concrete histology. Ubuwi wa gurawi wanako ishapa dentigia assist. Ari kuchivazo, ukuisa dentigia assist na ameroblastoma turi wone na yoni vivabista histological. You need then clinical and radiological information in order to confirm. Chango siwa kawa za nye chuma yose, ahunga uwe ribirose. When they bring the whole tumor then, uzire grao, as patrolis uzirani wari matirokira wa yonirokira niso. So it forms around the crown of an erupted or developing a uh, tooth. Uh, so <clears throat> this is the on X-ray. So these are erupted tooth. So an erupted tooth is here, and you see that it is the, the tooth. The tooth is here, and you see that it is surrounded by radiolucent area. So which is not open. So meaning that it's either filled with, filled with fluid or filled with air. So radiograph, you find where you find the unilocular, so it must be one locule. Radiolucency around the crown of an, an, an erupted tooth or impact tooth. So, and this is the lining epithelium here. So it's an na epithelium, ama itangira gukora menu atangira gukora muri embryos. So, that's why it is called the uh, odontogenic. So the treatment will be, of course, the removal of the cyst. Otherwise, it has a risk to transform into a neoplasm, especially a meroblastoma. Meroblastoma, uh, as we shall see. So the second odontogenic cyst is odontogenic keratocyst. Uh, so you can see it here, Mujihe Aria Iambere. The cyst is around the crown of a non-erupted tooth. Here, the cyst, you see that it is around the roots. The roots. This is important also. Kumu clinician, changwa, radiologist, awa kot cyst, yaywonye around the either on around the, the crown or the neck of the tooth or around the, the roots. Uh, so the rumen will contain a kerat a parakeratin, and this is seen on the histology, of course. Uh, so it is seen 
most of the time in a mandibular fed the molar region. But to suppose that we are in this or this information. Ukoni niba arisiste ba sanza handi han ha tari hari akuri sa the molar. Ukubuga ya ya menya bita muzita atari ho si tiri ishawara ya itojihe clinicare you will you will think about another tumor not this one. So this is a histology, radiograph, uh, frequent appears as well defend my trochlear lucent region. So as you can see it here. <clears throat> so for non odontogenic cysts, there are many. We have a nasal paratine canal cyst, median paratine, median mandibular, nasorabio, brachial crest cyst is zone in a niche, zilahari niche, brachial crest cyst. Agni thyrogrosso tract cyst in a zone in niche. And this is a development, of course. Me cleft, uh, blood sugar cleft cyst. <laughs> so it is a muri neck. You are can show by muri muri neck. Chime ne ye fibrogrosso cyst. So now you are going to fibrogrosso cyst. Muri am dereo reche muri am isiko. Bivuga ko tiroide. Itangiri di hejuru hamwe nururi mi. Bisa no bikomo ka no hamwe muri am dereo reche. So uko umwa nakura. Uo ichi altiza vamo ururi mi iko meza ku za ku za mokiza kuri. Uh, oral cavity, no need to touch the abdomen. Thyroid, the chikamanuka, chija, kuri neck. Out of gumba kuzawa, aho thyroid, the gumba kuzawa. So harabajiri chwa zoreo hakajiru duche dumne tu sigara muzira. Uduche ugasanga agat a a a disakabizi makari ni duche vivne vista ni diari kuva hurudi mi ni diari kuva mochiroid. So iyo wero roga ku utotunu dukuzu munu ya rakoze after ambryogenesis nubu ya wa achiri mundari kwa ambryogenesis ya ranji ya rakabji mba kuku yako kawa kuze mwa mazi so it will be called thyrogrosso tract cyst so bracho cleft cyst is almost the same mari kwa muri yon ha thyroid tissue wana maho wana mo tissues of of the respiratory epithelia so bisa na hari bronch and tangwa yuchabji ya hali uvi yu yura hunga so Nirango nizo zikunze kuba zihari indi ni epidamo cyst. Tiango se tuita epidamo inclusion cyst. Ahanga ha u nhaabgibane kamuri head and neck gusa no kuruhu. Biterwa ni ichi uruhu haregye rukura ruga kora invagination. So ruga sanga urgu inji ramu imbere. Yepku inji ramu imbere ruga haki ifunga. Uko uruhu rufufuka imesaksi e, changa subugo ya uva honi wichi wiko meza kuba mariko wika wera mwimbe. Mkwera mwimbe lelero wibura hobi kurira wika kora gasista kam a mass of a cyst. So kasanga huzemo keratin debris e, wicha bjibugo ya ni wichi diose. So akayetu mwurupa ya zanyine kamu wija. Uko kawa kame zanyine kama wina umeze kapas. So I remember just last week I aspirated one. So when you aspirate you think it is a pass. Kandi kwa wewe ifite pressure nini, ye yumbi sebili kwa gavano kuburi uge na mkogula gavano kaka kwa gira mgo vimaremo. So you can just say it's a spate diagnosis even before you do histology. So otherwise you have a menesis to which I found on the neck. So brachial cleft cyst is presented here and then if I grow grosso tract cyst as I mentioned, she said the thyroid and then the thyrogrosso duct. Nukuga angani ho thyroid the yanyuze imanoka ija ho gomba kwa hano kuri kuri larynx. Ururi minarugoro kwe gumina hezu. So akakanoka manusano ga shwa kubji imba. Chane chitani yuhari wichab ya thyroid de bjago miyemo ni wichab di ururi mi bjago mi hanga hano nwa wika kura nyuma. So individuals usually under 20 years of age no sex plantation. So the direction. So the treatment is usually excision, and so there is no other way. In Chende Chigaranga Kabari Midira in a Kari Hagatin Hagati Kuijos in Bere, Nagokaya Kuruhan. There are the Bradshaw Cleft Cyst against the Zamuru Kuruhan de Hogat, but this is Midira. So aneurysm of bone cysts, uh, so more orthopedics and Mosaiwana, the Senomary uh, pathology of bones, we can come back on this if we have time, but otherwise, we will. You see it in the book uh, on that part. So it is a, a pseudocyst because it has no epithelial lining. So now, some of the 
just cavities with, with filled with fluid inside their bones. So, and the consequences you can understand, if it is a bone which is subjected to forces, um, it will be weakened. So it will be weakened. So if uh, someone falls down and so on, the frag a fracture will be will be easy to happen at the site of this aneurysm uh, uh, bone cyst. So the treatment is the uh, surgical removal. So uh, that's all for this uh, part. Any questions so far? For this cyst, the documental cyst. Question. Yes. Mm. About pseudocysts. Sorry. About pseudocysts. Yes. Said, uh, uh, I need to get more explanation because I searched and I found that you can find also pseudocysts in the pancreas. Yes, a pseudocyst means a cyst which has no tissue lining, so it can exist anywhere. In the, in the pancreas, yes, it exists when when there is something which digests. For example, there is a trauma on the on the pancreas. With trauma, there will be leakage of enzymes. These enzymes they will digest parts of the organ, and therefore they will create a, a cavity. Because that cavity is not trained by epithelium, it will be called a pseudocyst. So a pseudocyst, it means this, it is a, a cavity filled with fluid, but without having a lining epithelium. So it is just a general term. Other questions? Okay, so let us look at the tumors of the jaw, and here we discuss only three. So the first one is the ameloblastoma. Mukona we say ikunda kuva mowin. Tano kanya harimo chane chane dentiger assist. So nukuba kumono fite non erupted tooth. Aba fite bia boyo kuzagira dentiger assist. Kana na yo itavan mama ikabiaramo ameloblastoma. So I, I know during my residency training, I had a melanoma. The same guy has a more carcinoma. So on history, you could see everything. You could see features of the interior as a seat. Ruhane rume, ukawanaho ya yaja go into kamo meroblastoma, ukawanamo yaja go into kamo meroblastic carcinoma. So uh, that pathogenesis, you could see it very clearly. So, and you see, it is usually a very big tumor. The government of the very canoe of materialism, like a homory with a natural academy in the use of the Tango Monani, Woman Major Finanza, Tango Handy, Eo Babaga and Avina Voga of Turba, you commit a name, a bomba come of a shark, a design of TV and since a mere cana. And then he, he was taken by authorities to to hospital to say she be then by by Kuram. So ni timeri ivamo na chino chi chida sangu ruf kani operation ni demeri ita korwa no no muta utavi si utavi menyere ye ari kwa kwenye shimandi boyo se kikura. So zamiro kwa stima ni kwa fake shimandi bo rada dani magisira. Isti kana fake bo aini but usually. For the cases I saw there, they are from the uh, demandable. Uh, when you visit the 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 hospitals with uh, which you have the dentistry departments, so that you are not even active, you know, hearing you one around the table where you know I miss. So it can be benign or it can be malignant. So its previous name was the adamantinoma. Adamantinoma. It had bone hand, which is very hard on the palpation. So nowadays, this system is no longer used for a meroblastoma. I recall a hand to Koresha, 
ahari choma isa na yo ikunda gufata muri muri mugongo imbere muri bones twita craniofrangioma craniofarangioma ibisa na meroblastoma nta cyo bitandukana usibye rotation so yo yagumanye zina damate numa barakaye koresha so is it slow slow growing tumor locally aggressive odontogenic epithelial neoplasm so on history you can see odontogenic epithelial odontogenic epithelial nokwa epithelial ubundi ikuri kabyara amen so most common occurs in mandibles i said multiple microscopic variants ikindi nokwa ikonza kwa multicystic so multi locular so if it to the chamber twinshi many rooms you can say so Menero locally. So, I recall we gave you a in Rokina, but that is very rare. So, you can see it here, and uh, there is a classification inside there. So, this is the odontogenic epithelium. You will have things like a lumen here, so you can think it is like an adenocarcinoma, but it will be within a bone. So it represents 1% of all jaw cysts and tumors, and it is the most common of the autogenic neoplasm. When it comes to cysts, the individual cysts and other cysts only have any neoplasms. They are just cysts. Cysts are not always tumors, so not ne neoplastic. But ameloblastoma is neoplastic. You see that uh, around five people within a uh, 10 million population. Uh, nukuba nebo mu Rwanda turi abantu muri iyo icumi ah uh, kuri mwaka abahara abantu nyo bora abantu batanga ariko uti miliyoni ya 2013 nubwo ko dushobora kuba bona abantu barindwi and so on yes So there are of many types, the, what we call a conventional, but this is in histology, followed by unicystic, meaning it has one lo lo locus, and they have peripheral ones. So they affect a broad range edge of people, so from young ones to very old ones. So the intraosseous genetic uh, ameroblastic, uh, ameroblastoma originates from remnants of the enamel organ and the dental, dental lamina, and the report it rarely arises with odontogenic cysts, uh, that uh, dentigerous cysts. Ameroblastoma, which is the extraosseous or peripheral type, it arises from the rest of Ceres, dental lamina remnants in the gingiva. So these things, they bring you back to, to embryology, in order to know all these uh, things. But otherwise, these are the developmental, it is like a tumor arising from the developmental epithelium which did it differentiate at the due time. So it dif differentiate at the later time when it can no longer give rise to bone, to, 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 to tooth and so on. So you can see here, uh, so I can show what you have here, what you have here, what you have here, so I can show what you have here, what you have here, what you have here, when the mandi bo niwa riyibu diya changu yu maso baka yu anamo yu se baka riyibu diya changu yu maso baka yu plastic plastic surgery changu yu za vijenza changu mu natawo daddy from it gara gami chane ah so in kabe se how it is and here are menyo amge so menya wana jina kwa ya shi ngu tsema so the treatment is the dissection of the of the mandi bo which is affected or the enucleation. Enucleation of a cuckoo and Michi Macho in the Mandibo Kayaka Arico, a query query high risk of recurrence, usually they remove the bond. They make sure the margins are negative. They maybe they don't remove the whole bone, but they make sure they remove the bone, the tumor with a, a part of the of non affected bone so that they are sure the tumor was completely removed. So another tumor is the ossifying fibroma. So I select just the most frequent ones. So there is the ossifying fibroma and fibrous dysplasia. So I, pre I present the, these two because they are uh, histologically, sometimes they can be confusing, but also clinically. So as you can see, ossifying fibroma, it is a tumor arising from the fibroblast, but in which you can have 
bone formation. So it is natural, not from a bone, it is a, from, a, from a fibrocyte, but it forms bone. So histology in the animal bone trabeculae, but which uh, have regular surface, roundish. Uh, so they have round, roundish uh, borders. While fibrous dysplasia, if you see the bone trabeculae, it's really irregular with the Chinese uh, characters. So the new good is a machine, a positive is irregular. Nico, a reduction of the fatuanamory fibrous dysplasia tattoos. I report that one of the fine fibroma, they are just irregular. Uh, so this is the juvenile, and they will have a non juvenile. So on this picture, we have a juvenile just because it is in a small chart, otherwise, the histology is the same. So usually treated by surgical excision. Uh, so it can be associated with some syndromes listed here. You see that they 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 are they go with common problems. So peak incidence happens between the third and the fourth decades of life. So uh, peak age. So eventually and with a female pre in the direction. So now oh, you can see it here in uh, intraorally how it looks like. And on X-ray, you can see that there is a mass here with calcifications here. You see that it is too much calcium, like in the two here. So that's why it is ossifying. Otherwise, on the other, other part here, there is no ossification as it is here. Exclusively in the tooth bearing areas, Tooth-bearing uh, tooth areas of the mandible and the maxilla. So I go to the Mandible, most common location. So some people, they say it is odontogenic, but it is not confirmed. But this is a theory which is favored. So there is a penniless expansion of the buccal or lingual plates of the jaw. Large lesions can expand the inferior mandibular, uh, mandibular border, and sometimes they can be just an isolated lesion, just a small one, which can be discovered for other things, just an incidental finding. So the fibrous dysplasia, also called the craniofacial form of fibrous dysplasia, if it is found in the jaw, it can be monocystic, monostotic, Polyostotic or associated with Macune or Bright syndrome. So, this syndrome is explained here what characterizes it. It can be hereditary or congenital. So, it is that in childhood, but usually diagnosed around 20 years of age. So, that means it grows very slowly. So, you can see it here. And you uh, can see that it is it is less calcified as the the ossifying fibroma we saw. So unilateral penniless swelling, like the ossifying fibroma, so it is penniless in mandible or maxilla in men. So here there is a, a disposition to men. Why the the ossifying fibroma usually seen in females? So these are the differences I'm mentioning. So no treatment uh, since growth is self-limited and responsive to puberto hormonal changes. Surgical recontouring performed if facial deformity. So in our context, we have so to keep their faces looking well. So it's the one one. But uh, the recurrence is 25% to understand that it is a risk to, to recur. So they have it defined the margin is diffuse radio opaque with gross grand image. So diffusely uh, radio opaque, you cannot see just one mass being radio opaque as we saw on uh, for the ossifying fibroma. So and as I said on histology, Uzawana, if you take irregular bone trabeculae, like Chinese character, Chinese characters, where for the ossifying fibroma, the borders are, are round. So the, the, the bone trabeculae are round with smooth uh, contours. 
So for malignant tumors, we will not discuss them here because we saw them in the in 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 the uh, oral cavity when we discussed the digestive system. So otherwise, they are mostly epithelial, but their classification is based on histogenic either epithelial or not. So here there will be carcinoma, connective tissues where they are they are like uh, uh, from skeletoma source or abdominal sarcoma. So histologically, they are, can be well differentiated, the modality differentiated or poorly but differentiated. So for the jaw tumors, they can be benign. Here's the ranges of fine fibroma and the fibrous dysplasia. Malignant, uh, especially like uh, uh, the ameloblast ameloblastic carcinoma, and they, they can be intermediate. So ameloblastoma is going to intermediate. The tarawa cancer is considered intermediate, not really benign, but also not malignant. But when it is it is termed the carcinoma, then it is a cancer. So other regions, they can be lymphomas, the lymphoma, uh, back to lymphoma usually because it affects the jaw. But you have a carcinomas, which are the most common, the most common being a squamous cell carcinoma. I, we discussed this last time on the gastrointestinal tract pathology. So the message here is that early diagnosis is very important for the proper management. So I need to say melanoma. Now you can go more to the now you want to go melanoma. It is because uh, we have a melanocyte in the oral cavity, and have a melanocyte is one more who is not very sure. They can be anywhere. So we see we see some cases of melanoma uh, arising from intra intra in uh, from the oral cavity. I mhuko mwizi abahara nubajira jinchi vazi zumu kara itre dogote or some uh, adiko biwabdi akte mwuko wafite merano site nyishi rusha bahari avand uh, so izi ikyo nchwa kufa nuko merano site zira hari mwukano wana wata wafite jinchi vazi zumu zira wura nao wawazi fite so they can give rise give rise to meranoma so whenever wherever we have melanocytes, you can have melanoma. So we it is not rare here in the land. So the rate symptoms usually supported to infection or nerve involvement, excessive salivation, salivation, difficulty in agglutition or speech, hemorrhage, and so on. So within the bone also have a consequences and so then question. Someone who was opening the microphone. Yeah, you can talk. Okay, you can mute yourself because it seems you are just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can. We, okay, be serious, please. You to yourself. So, if you have no question, then we have we can uh, uh, take uh, a fifteen minutes break. And we'll continue with the eye.
So welcome back again. So 15 minutes have finished. So we can proceed. I hope you can hear me and see the screen. Okay, so I suppose so. So I am the, uh, it's the uh, next. Uh, so this is just uh, an anatomy of the eye showing the upper eye read. And of course, there is the lower one. There is, we have uh, the conjunctiva. Then we have the iris and the pupil, and you have the lacrimal glands around the rimbos, uh, and so on, naso lacrimal ducts, and so on. And this is uh, like a, a section now from the eye showing the cornea here, the iris, the, uh, this is the lower iris and the upper iris. Then you have the iris here, and uh, the lens say uh, the pupil normally is not on organs it is just the opening the uh, where there is nothing here creating the the uh, the blackish uh, structure it is just because it is uh, having nothing inside that that color so otherwise we uh, behind that we have the lens so here we have the aqueous humor just anterior to the lens and then posterior to the lens and the ciliary body and the iris will have the vitreous or the posterior chamber. So posterior chamber iris, iris ligaments, posterior chamber, anterior chamber, ikabingi, iris. I recall uh even a aqueous humor, no name lens in a zone argument uh posterior chamber you see more vitreous. So and then here we have three layers, you have the retina, as you know, which is a key to the functions of the vision. Uh behind the retina we have the choroid or choroid, so it depends on how you want to pronounce it, and then the sclera uh, outwardly. So the image taken, so if you see something, the image will go through the cornea, so the cornea must be fine, the aqueous humor must be fine, the lens must be healthy, and the vitreous must be also clear, and then the image will form somewhere here. Then when the image is formed, interpreted by the rods and uh, the cones and rods here, the, that information will be processed to, uh, will be sent to the brain via the optic nerve. And then this takes place within a, a, a very short time, maybe in the, in the decimals of, of a second. And uh, then the, you will know, so what I'm seeing is this, this, and you interpret it, of course. Guys, we have a orbital bone around, we have uh, muscles and so on. So this is the, on histology, when you you have cut a, a, an eyeball, what you see, so the coronary will be here, and then here we have the lens, so it means here we have uh, the iris and the ciliary border, so the zonal ligaments is not seen, but should be here. Then, or this is the anterior chamber, then the posterior chamber, or, or the, the, the vitreous. And the, here we have we have the, uh, the retina, after it we have a choroid, and then we have the sclera, and the optic nerve is starting here. 
So if you do a section here now uh, and you do a higher higher magnification in microscope, this is what we see retina. In the retina, you see, you know that in history it has many layers, around 10 layers. And each layer has its function, internal emitting membrane, a nerve fiber layer, and so on. You have a nuclear layer. So we have a nuclear of all the, the, the neurons, and you have another layer of neuron of cereal body of the the cell bodies of the neurons and so on. So the conjunctiva is uh, covered by specialized squamous epithelium containing uh, nucleus separating cells. So the specialized epithelium is on the posterior space of the eyelid and covers the uh, eye to the rimbus where it becomes entire squamous epithelium to cover the cornea. So cornea is like a continuation of the, of the conjunctiva. So the com most common lesions of the conjunctiva are degenerative, Arizobita pterygia, monopenguicula. So these are frequent also in our settings, we see them. So just degeneration of the conjunctiva. Pigmented can have nephew which are benign lesions arising from melanocytes and then melanoma. Extrinsic factors such as injury, uh, so when abantu bakunda kuba ngo hari ya nta kintu cyakora ho ngo cyo nta bakongera kubona iko sibyo kubera ko baterishi urushinge batera mu jisho urugeze kuri ko ngo ataiba nta kibazo kiretse waruteye nabe atawa resusteramo niba ari vetra sugabanya niba ari niba ari timere iri mushaka kumenya ibi yirimo so so inyuza buri ko ngo ataiba it doesn't affect the vision inflammatory uh, not usually by your size, but may be scrapped for a diagnosis of trachoma and the other infectious agents. So, Marigina and Suave squamous carcinoma, Bazusa carcinoma, and the melanoma. And I'm going to say that squamous carcinoma for the conjunctiva is the mainly seen uh, in the HIV positive patients, and this uh, cancer is usually associated. So, in it, you, you see uh, HPV. So in what I don't conjunctivitis, it can be allergic, it can be infectious, and so on. And they have tumors, as I said. So, and they have adenexo glands. Uh, our glands is as the zikora, zikora tears. So tears, they are not only emotional, but also they help to lubricate the, the eye. So when someone has a dry eyes, so they know how to see the, how they, it is a, this part. Benign tumors from melanocytes, such as nephi, malignant ones, melanoma, to the conjunctiva, lymphocytic origin, you can have a lymphoma, but these are benign. So for the soft tissue tumors, we have many of them, <coughs> malignant such as Kaposi sarcoma. This is a tumor rising from small blood vessels, small vessels and uh, HIV, malignant fibrous histiocytoma and the rhabdomyosarcoma. So we have a caristomatous, it can be said in hamartoma, thermoid, thermolipoma, complex choristoma, and so on. So when, so that was was for conjunctiva, uh, conjunctiva and. Uh, of course, each part of the of the of the eye can have diseases, and you shall come back on it. Some, such as the cataract, which is a disease of of the lens, and we shall see the tumors, uh, 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 not the the glaucoma, which is just a problem of the space in the aqueous humor, the space there and the pressure, and then uh, the tumors are affecting the retina. And here, the most common, as you see, is the retinoblastoma. Uh, this uh, is a cohort from the AFIP. AFIP is the American Forces Institute of Pathology. Uh, so it is an institute of pathology of the American Forces. Uh, so among the 235 cases, they, they enrolled as tumors from the retina. Uh, so it was found that uh, almost all of them 
so the majority were retinoblastoma. So retinoblastoma, as I said, it is an embryonal tumor arising from the cells which could give rise to the retina. So in what I don't know, you can't show one day. I had it. I had it. I was So if you go to the tumors of the UFO tracts, so you will try to manage it with a Mukuba iris in a city at the body of Haria, a half year whole or lens if you fatty a child Christian. So melanotic because we have a melanocyte there. Melanocyte is a hazard in a terroir. Umubare wa zo changu kwa zisabiterwa na nara isa yu munu. So I remember that we had the cases we were discussing with someone in Switzerland and then he said, okay, I can see that this patient is an African. That's why, ah, because I see the melanocytes there, the way they are, it, they, they, they show that it is an African and not a white. So tumors, they can be navy, which is benign or malignant melanoma. And you are going to have a robin in the one city with a whole pressure on the pathological yet than my malignant melanoma from the UV tract. And uh, this melanoma of the UV tract, it metastasize always, always to the liver. And it always uh, metastasize to the liver. So non melanotic, we have hemangiomas from vessels, the myoma, small from muscle, neurofibroma, especially for from people having a neurofibromatosis, osteoma, benign tumors from the bone tissue and the lymphomas. So this among all the cases they found in the AFIB, see that there are 737. So among them, 656 were melanoma. So it is not layer. So we start then to look at the few diseases we can we selected the most common ones in our context. So the disease we will discuss here, for instance, as a conjunctivitis to our So what we discuss here is cataract, glaucoma, and the retinoblastoma. So retinoblastoma is a cancer, and then others, others the additions which are not neoplastic. So cataract, yanga si shaza, mwa wangu shaza, mudiyo moje isho. It is just, it is just opacity of lens, which occurs when fluid gathers between the lens fibers. As it develops, the lens becomes clouded, which scatters the light. So you remember the physics of of the eye of the vision. Urumuri runyura muri lens, rugomba kuba to converge a whole body on macula on the retina, posterior retina. So if there is something which is cut as the right here, the vacuum will be the vision will be blurred because the light has been scattered here in the lens because there is a foreign body which should not be there. So and when you see that person, Uravana Ilishi Shohano, uh, Pupil no mukara, where I have vide, Pavogaga, Arikohano have a rumukara, where I have been the Asia Muni lens, only lens of Bakuan and Kurjun Muni Yamana cheetahs. So, Yohaja Munha fat, a Kenshin even of the fat, if you visamo, it under Isabutere, Kawana Vistanishaza, Priama Shazavaja Vistanuma, the Nikona was a number of Vandavita issues. So it is the leading cause of blindness, and you see that for all the diseases affecting the, the, the eye, all the causes of blindness. I think these are the causes of blindness. Almost 55% is due to cataracts. Other causes are glaucoma, uh, uh, and uh, many others on course, these are the infections, infection, and so on and the diabetes. Uh, so, uh, age-related cataract is responsible for 48% of world brandiness. So uh, around 18 million people worldwide, they, are, they have a cataract and which caused them to have uh, blindness. So cataracts are also an important cause of raw vision in the both developed and developing countries, not only or blindness, but also low vision. So the causes are 
all the edge cyane cyane kuri umuntu akuranga mu bizi hari bintu hari hari pits abnormal pits ziba deposited anywhere not only in the lens but anywhere else so when it defect then in the lens they cause cataract ocular and systemic diseases such as diabetes mellitus uveitis uh, uh, so meaning inflammation of the uveal tract iris and the cerebral body previous ocular surgery systemic medication such as people taking steroids for a long time so they can be taken for different reasons phenothiazines i think some are taken by people who have mental disorders so so trauma and intraocular foreign bodies ionizing radiation so they have to but mono x-ray and so on ama so niba tari iyo bagamije gufotorari afite kibazo ntabagomba expose so ultraviolet rays of the sun and so on so it can be congenital uh, meaning that there are some people who are predisposed to develop it and this is a transmitted in a, a, a autosomal dominant way it can be sporadic meaning no genetic uh, component of it it can be part of a syndrome monocytic syndrome murio has a monocataract abnormal characters metabolism and the hypoglycemia inherited abnormality such as myotonic dystrophy marfan syndrome rubella rubella is infection and the nodes they vaccinate it and the high myopia so and the, this diagram here is showing the cataract types so normally so it appears then you have immature cataract so here usually the fat which is there is it's still fluid it is much when it becomes mature it is the fluid is somehow solid and when it is hypermature it is necrotic it becomes necrotic so immature mature and hypermature we shall come back on this and then it can be nuclear it means it is just in the center of the lens or subcapsular when it is just below the capsule of the lens so uh uh the edge related cataract is the most commonly uh, uh, occurring cataract so it can be classified according to the morphology or the maturity so according to the morphology of course it, it depends on where it is on the shape and the shape nuclear and as, as i said it is just in the center of the of the lens cortical around the cortex subcapsular just uh, below the capsule of the lens and it can be christmas tree ahanga hayo no ntabwo ibiri round wona ari ntagasha za ubona ari kintu kiri irregular nka kiragete cya christmas so that's why it was put like that so according to the maturity uh, maturity here we have the already mentioned immature mature and the hyper mature so cortical it occurs on the outer edge of the lens which is cortex it begins as whitish wedge shaped opacity or streaks the opacity streaks it slowly progresses the streaks which will extend to the center and they interfere with light passing through the center of the lens so if you forget ko iyo itangira ibikiri kuri periphery like here but as the time goes on then the center also will be affected so nuclear you see that it is exactly at the center of the lens so for the mature the lens is completely opaque vision is reduced to just perception of light so ntabwo abasha kugira ikintu abone uretse kubona ko enda nacanye cyangwa akagera hanze kubona ko ashaka hari izuba ariko atavanga ndarireba cyangwa nabone igicucu kibiti cyangwa cy'umuntu iris shadow is not seen lens appears very white so the hypermature cataract uh, the cataract will shrink and we become a wrinkled uh, and there will be a weak for the uh, anterior capsule due to leakage of water out of the lens so as i said it is looking like a necrotic so it may take two forms 
liquefactive or Morganian type where there is autolytic liquefaction and it turns uniformly milky white. So the nuclear cirrhosis support and settled to the bottom. This is the nucleus of the uh, of, of the lens. Or it can be sclerotic. So in hypermature cataract, you have either liquefactive or sclerotic. So sclerotic means the, there is a fibrosis. So that's all for cataract. So for an opponent, so the Barasatura Vagapuramo, the Vinavacabuza Cabit Panamo. Then the operations, the Correo Hario Jose, Avalcora, now Garibenshi, where it's of Thermologies, what of Tevachemu and Dariko Hari, Avanda Technicia, Baba, Muzicomori, Fomaka, Chaitanamori, Health Sciences, they have. Uh, they have a department of, of ophthalmology. So they 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 train uh, ophthalmology of thermology officers. So I want to work for our in the So let's go on. I have the father training about cataract surgeons. So I was a cataract so now we have a hurry. So normally this is hospitals was a poor uh, so, can it not get out of the way 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 of the of the way of the way of the way of so each in the nano and no copy fasha muku mukumenyeres is the Javas Buko. Mozayamovana Munewa Moazi Jesho, Iyo Bashaka Kodionja Kureva, Parimenyer is a Kureva, but Fuka Irizim. The Bafukirizim Makuya Modia are indeed menyer and Arjuri Deve, Amaku Revaneza, but Nabakurizim. So retinoblastoma, this is a malignant tumorizing from the retina and it, it is seen in one over 20,000 retinoblastoma. So it can be familial. Uh, and when it is familial, it is transmitted in a dominant way. In a dominant way. So now for the tenobrastoma gene, it is it is oncogene, not tumor suppressor gene. That would be the meaning. So germline mutation of RB G R develops in 80 to 90 percent of those with mutant RRs in the tenobrastoma gene at chromosome 13, uh, long arm, region 1 and 4. So we have a two types, a congenital or familial one. So each of you are going to have the gene, cancer, mama, so you will be. And I can become a father, 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 I can become a father. So it is seen in 40% of the cases. Let's say how you want to so I've affected by a terror or a tenobrastoma. I didn't know you with a tridactyl on a program. So at the two you say a first way. This is because the the pineal gland is considered like an eye. So the song of the pine pineal blastoma, one of the by a terror retinoblastoma, we will sign you just to get a tridactyl retinoblastoma. So we fat a one of a tribato, you can have a carnival so when you see that, you will you will ask about the family if there is nobody so hard in such tumors. Can we have had we have had query? There is already we once met in a, in a, a conference in Nairobi, I think in 2012 or 2011. So she she's from Canada and she she got the retinoblastoma when she was a child. And her, 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 her father also was a survivor of retinoblastoma. 
So because they are in developed country, so they discovered that the, that man, that child had a tinobra stoma. So washa we kumuvu rarachira, karakura, karashaka, abjare, umga nawe, mukovga nawe, ayirajira, tinobra stoma. So nawe wa muvu rarachiri kare, so yashi is associated with you to kuwa, kuwa na ufitere tinobra stoma, so that's why she has become in Nairobi for the conference, for just for that. So meaning that in their family, they know they have a, such a problem. Otherwise, uh, in this sporadic retinoblastoma, it is the only one eye which is affected. Uh, but also they can have a risk to for the, gener the next generation. So no kwako no mo na irgo ay no go yabar u amberu ga muri familye ya niwa ashobe kuba ho. Uh, uh, abafite risk na nawe ko abazamukoma kawazayi bisobanura ko muri gene zeze muri muri overs uh, of virus cyangwa se spam cells that that uh, mutation can be transmitted so uh, it is by ratero let's know about some in 30% of cases in the 90% of familial cases the tumor arises in one, two, or three of the layers of the retina, and they may infiltrate underlying vitreous. Uh, when it infiltrates the vitreous, we call it endophytic. While when it, 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 it infiltrates the choroid and the sclera, we call it exophytic. So that depends on what you see on the CT scan or, or endoscopy and so on. And maybe it was a bit of a director of the Harriman and Zrovoka girl. Womurbanda Wadi Wadi Equivo was a affite, Hanova Vogakova when you're at Nobra Stoma, Muji Shorime, I just ever sang affite. Both eyes, the other eye also was affected. So Yapianova and Mukore new creation, a higher life to the Nobra Stoma. Yambere, so you should have a clear more ideas. You can go by Muhimiti or Sangarin, the Tara first way, but because they are is chosen in the restaurant because they are advanced. So each of our cousin who called now Baba was the Jacabi, but Korshiba Tarazeri therapy. So that's the therapy in a good Hagari creating over a stomach correction, some for a mass, so having the Bishi by Koresha. So you are getting a Spanya Guza a dirty lesion without the opening. Ninghari surgery called by remote. So how pathogenesis of it? So for non hereditary retinoblastoma, it can be no a gene gene the copy a beautiful energy. So the first and the second imitation comes after and have as kura kuabi ziza nyum. No was ra initial no koza chiri munda atara vuka changwa zombies kaza nyuma. So imitation then the child will develop. They develop the retinoblastoma uh, when it, both areas are, are affected. And the, I think the, 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 that there is a mistake, I hope, of the dominant way. This is recessive because the retinoblastoma gene is a tumor suppressor gene, so it cannot be, uh, it cannot be in the dominant way, it is recessive. So hereditary retinoblastoma, there is a first mutation which is inherited. Ayo arai have gani chemurai. In the imitation, aijira nyuma. So the second imitation, aijira nyuma. No, no, no way I can develop a inguara. So ya hanga ito misha kufuga no kubundi akenshi yum. Yumu na fite imitation. Both imitations at the time of the condition. Ichi na very good. So mobile ato fite. Mobile ufite system. Yo na rima information. Iri graf and hii na wo ituma. Umana Kura over the Dahiti family and I meet Tarava no man, just as I got. So, and you know, a retinoblastoma gene, what it does, it works at the at the G1, G1 to S phase uh, checkpoint. So, what is the common cell division? Kuva Muri G1 phase, we are S phase, and more checkpoint in Hydra comes in the checkpoint. So retinoblastoma gene works at these checkpoints. So how does it work? Ubundi iba irihano, isanzwe, 
so this is uh, maybe phosphorylated uh, or non phosphorylated ariko ikizwi nuko haza element such as uh, cyclin D1 and uh, cyclin dependent kinase 4 nibindi nibindi biraza bigakora phosphorylation so when they do, do phosphorylation of retinoblastoma is uh ibifatanya e 2 f 1 3 Iyo bikore phosphorylation i a 2 f 1 3 ivaho ni 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 kufure kwa vuga chwa jifashe retinoblastoma gene. No neho yo chi vangwe ho ya retinoblastoma gene ya wai phosphorylated. I hitaye merera i checkpoint. I hitaye mera selire ngon ni promesive mu G1 phase ye mu S phase. So no ko i nicho ni ko kazi ki jimi ahunga. So then when it is imitated, what you can understand is that when it is imitated, it will not work properly. It will not work properly. It will allow uh, the transition from S G1 to S phase without controlling that everything is fine. We remove it. We answer the checkpoint. We send out. We answer the DNA is in man. It was fitted on the point. We call the division. Otherwise, so when it is imitated, it will not cut out that uh, function. So manifestation, the first, uh, the clinical sign of of uh, retinoblastoma is rucocoria. So rucocoria na uvo na moji shohrima tan kumwe. Ruko ruko refers to white. So they can have a retinal detachment. Maybe this you can see it. Kuko irishon hira de chivana. Retinibia of way, I will tell you for Shakuri, Kurikoroid. Strabismus, Arabi Mirari, which can be exo or exotropic. They tend to invade the optic nerve. So, this I have seen that most of the cases I saw retinoblastoma, they invade the optic nerve. Can you optic nerve your first channel channel for your premier show? But Chowning Church optic nerve. So, Chinga went to Twitter and Rano Kureva Neva. You imagine that margin of erotic nerve is involved by the tumor or not. So when it is involved, it means the surgeon has left a part of the tumor inside the, the, the orbit and probably the cancer cells have gone to the brain. Uh, so it can invade the uveal tract. Otherwise, what you know, I mean, she was an uveal to touch you on a rinse. Here, I've we have gone back with you to touch you on any part, any normal part of the retina. So, we have your family with the appears. So, this then to metastasis to the cranial vault, a skeletal system, and so on. So, the second primary is for familial tumors are seen in 6 20 percent after 10 to 12 to 20 years. So, it is because of the neoplasia and have go. Homologize a mutation in the retinoblastoma gene and the cancer shall be the retinoblastoma gene. Nuko berebja vumbwe ko ujize mutation hari ajira retinoblastoma bi na tumava yitagurcho yo gene hari konywa sanze ba na jirindi was. So hari abajira osteosarcoma hari kono no chane chana wa nwa jira retinoblastoma wa kavurwa igachira ba wa fitibi ya boko mu ni akichumi kwa prima kumnyabiri. Ba umobare ushakwe kuri 20% muri wa bazajira osteosarcoma, changwa rabudoma sarcoma. Chane chane kuri udutet kwa korewe radiation. Kwa kuri jaba kifura ni mkwa aga ni miti hali na radiation. So five year survival is 90% if unilateral and slightly less if bilateral. I think it is the same. There is a, a, a master degree I, I was there. Okay, I, I was just reviewing the master degree of a, a student at the School of Public Health. So now when you go back to the Kuban, I want to tell it in the way they survived the Nimitiba, how many which so no sang about if they buy a terror disease, but for Boba Kurusha, I want to tell you need a terror. Yagutin Chagar Genuko, the Tinobrestoma, no, you can share no oranges banyo bakabwa ifera ko hari imikashinzwe nabantu cyane ko bakera bonisha miryayo riri kamoni niko banyura 
ariko icyo ni cyasana ku burengera zo bari bo bahaza kuko ni ni hababera kwa nk'abandi cyangwa kurusha abandi so ntabwo ari uko kuba ngo baregereye clinic yango regere patrogen no so there is something i think last time i said it and also uh, 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 the tumor or uh, nephroblastoma is more frequent in the west uh, why it, the other tumors such as colorectal cancer is more common in chigari there are tumors which are more common in the east so usually there are some reasons explaining that or sometimes no reason so the the reason for that have to be investigated so the poor prognosis factors if the optic nerve is invaded uveal tract or sclera are invaded seeding into the vitreous so are you saying that is to the shame to the vitreous that's the meaning Involvement of the anterior chamber, extensive ocular tissue, tumor necrosis, and so on. So, rucocoria, so strabismus, you can see that it is a little bit So, most likely, it is a little bit of a little bit so the fundus image, we have a flurry, fluffy retinal tumor, which has grown into the vitreous, uh, and the retinal vessels are obscured by the tumor. So you can see the retinal uh, vessels here. The harmiza by nini so is no cause of this occlusion because of the tumor. So the tests are a complete blood count, CBC. Uh, if you are a charity and you have a fresh metastasis in Haviza Kora, enough for blood research. Central, uh, uh, this is cerebral spinal fluid cytology, very clear, even have a cell in the atom with So, and this is usually they do, they, they use it to take a bit of fluid and uh, send it to pathology to screen if there are any uh, malignant cells. Chromosome, chromosomal analysis to look for the mutations. So the imaging, uh, so the eye is having no issue. But on the right side here, you can see that there is something which is whitish here. So radio opaque here within this eye. And uh, here, it is more clear that it is more, this is calcified because it is more whitish, so more radio opaque on this side. So the treatment for other cancer, it is radiation therapy, cryopexy, cryopexy no kukaba, cryo ni uwa iti niki konde chane, so wakoresha, uriyo kui konde chane, kwa mama serire, arimo ate, photocoagulation, so for large tumors, they do a nucleation. So now, if you know who can have that, if you know who do this thing, we know that company. No, there are protocols. Always there are protocols. So now, what is the third part of the ramu? Because these protocols are reviewed every in Rwanda. We review them every three years. So once you graduate, there will be other protocols than those who have nowadays. Uh, uh, but there are also international standards of a need to stage two. You treat like this. Nibi to stage three. Raza therapy. Niva hani the hari rero nuga and watana wati niwa to the two wood of the college. Okay, meza as I told the subject and so on. So involvement of optic nerve margin uh it would be you are queer more uh any creation of the sangano wounded margin and positive. Bagomba kumuhara roko radiotherapy ahonga wakuri orbit Njirango ni vinu video sanje vini naroji ikanumu mwa sanze kanseri yuwele watara ima nsemo Mamuha roko radiation kwa hashi liriza Imiti yonu wundi kinifa hoi imiti ya wako mba kuifata Kujirango ni wale masere ya tamu se atagara gara Atagara gara klinika re na yo awashe kuifu So imiti nungu ni lisa nse anima kondele wamo radiation So on gross findings so on this upper picture, you can see that vitreous na humukara and vitreous in zima lens irihano. So there is a tumor here which is whitish near the optic nerve. The optic nerve is here. 
So uh, here you see that the tumor has filled the, almost the whole eye. Here it has filled the whole eye and maybe it has gone far from the, 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 the eyeball itself. So this area here, Mwana Hangani, skeletal necroid and the part of the mammary tumor. So this is white and black images. So this is the current image. So can I uh, identify here the optic nerve? Then there is a tumor in the vitreous, which is whitish here. Ahangana very whitish. Uh, the, there is the, the monochromatic here. So let's see. Hano I could get a soon say here. Hano kuri konea. So this is the whole mount image. If you quick image of the Kayakata, Kashira, and staining them, then we have a microscope. So what you see is exactly what you have. So the tumor here on the right, the tumor is here. Then here we have the necrotic material, optic nerve is here. Uh, and the, the lens was pushed exactly at the coronary area here. So we are going to the iris, which is just a picture of the diagonal. So that's all for uh, the tenoblastoma. Uh, if you have a question, you can ask it before you go to the next one. Any question on the cataract? Any question on the uh, retinoblastoma? Okay, so glaucoma, glaucoma uh, is a, a serious disease. It is not a cancer. It is not an infection. It is just a mechanical problem. A mechanical problem which causes the pressure inside the eyeball to be increased. Your pressure is almost level of the canitian so, as you see, this is a normal anatomy. In a glaucoma, what happens? Musical, uh, this aqueous tumor is, 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 is made by the is made by the cilia body. No, 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 chamber. no, 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 uh, so that you know in physiology. So, glaucoma is a horror. Iyo ayama azi ajaga sanghano yari muri meshwa kawe yari kumano chira ngaza aje aza vehano muri mujisho aga sanga harafuns. Iyo harafuns e aragaruka ngoko mi wana hano mukugaruka uko koro idio ira komezi not koro idio. Siri yari bode ira komezi ga koro yandi bituma pressure hano iyo yera mujisho hose yi pressure rero uretse buri bitera bituma na optic nerve bako ibiri compressed itangira kuba kugira changes like the uh, degenerative changes so ni cyo gitera glaucoma cyangwa ni cyo glaucoma gari so i was saying the cilia body is the one making the aqueous tumor so iraza rero ikanyura um, uh, ikanyura hano muri uh, hagati ya lens na iris amazi ubona kaboneza hano iyageza ha muri meshwak amanukira muri canal of sclerum canal of sclerum ikazaje ndeka ya muri episcleral venous plexus so ni ven donc ayi ya mumara so hari akazakuna nubarera ya maza bari mu nutrient center ziza gutunga ibintu bitandukanya icambere ni lubrication gutuma i space ikomeza kubihari kangu rumuri rujya runyuramo this is a mechanical thing physical thing and more physics means. Uh, so, go to my light in Tabascata, the whole group began to move you in the wind. So, I'm a lava on the Cobarero Arimeza, Mugurio, Imana, Yajen, Yakago Bakuwe. So, you had his itch and his other chivas. Nero had his chia from Gangwajende, Yara Comezagakova, Akus Ramahanga had been with the consequences I was mentioning. So, Grocoma really showed a Pugamo near Namo Kaviri, Harima Yeta, open the angle, Nihanga. Nukuvuga i angre hagatia korunea na iris irafungu. Rana kwa hafungu ya naja. Nukama zi ashwa kujera. Ahuga sanga harafungu. Ariko angre uga irafungu. Kawaniji he i iris isunikwa. 
isuni kwa igahisha ihi ihi canal of square room bichi kama zinhana jira hanga yoni baita a close uh, angle gurukomu so we have closed angle na open angle changa angle closure uh, gurukoma and the open angle gurukoma and they are shown here So uh, the types of glaucoma, as I said, we have an open angle and the an angle closure. So in open angle, this angle is free. The problem is that here is the meshwork here. So if you chief funga shwa kwari unutano kani. Humu na jizet trauma hano, hashwa kuzab blood clot iga itija gufunga hari. Or degenerative tissue debris is vya hano, runaka zikaza zikafunga. If yo nijabu zatu mahaba ho i open angle. Uh, gorokoma. Now, angle closure gorokoma is a terrible So, kujimba kwa mahano hifunga. Changwa se hakaji chini chini chiza chikaisunika giga funga hanga. So, it can be any mechanical problem to iris, from iris or from the lens. Changwa to buge nawa monufi tere tinobrasto mahano yasunit video se nawe. Nugi chwa za yikumaya tina umbrastoma fiti hariko azawa fiti muna ango kuroja gurokomu. So the symptoms they are increased intraocular pressure which causes a lot of problems. Harimo uhuribe bukomeye. Hakawaho narrow visual field, narrow the visual field and optic nerve atrophic where I have compression and so on. So, who are at risk or what are the risk factors for this for it? So, Harigin Shujaja Bugahari, race, African Americans. So, you know, so you are Shaku Gavira, Roman American, Avoga, I think Shavoga Blacks, Avoga, African Americans. You are exactly to Navira Mura, Roman America. So, they are there, they are Koba Idira Chane, Kurusha Caucasian, so Caucasians in our whites. Family history. Having a family history of glaucoma increases the risk of developing it. And there are other medical conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure or hypertension, heart disease. Also, they have they increase that risk. We have the age. So people, as they age, they develop it. So I know someone who, who was a medical doctor. So now he developed it. He's maybe around 70 years. Physical injury to the eye, Jaguna because the whole time to be sharp was a Gafungara and her blood clot in the wind. A corticosteroid they use, prolonged periods of, uh, of use may increase the risk of getting a secondary glaucoma and the other eye related risk factors which are listed here. So you understand uh, this. So it in it was already had in Kochagara Gaye and Arikochita. Plus one of the scientific are a nuko, you mona fit a grocoma moji shoringe. He be for way needing the effect. Mugo be a via ten years of mechanical. So, one of you was Mambu, one of you was a TV show couple, you mona fit a grocoma, hari auto antibodies mobile call. Auto antibodies mobile call, quit a curbana, hari, and also pay a curbana moji for the jarism. So, Nibian Wache. Arico. Mujewe ni vijabitala sawa anurwa. Ichizgu nukwa mwuganga. Uza mwuganu mwuganu afite gurokoma. Ugomba kume yako. Irijoji ishori gomba kuburwa. Pia kwanga. Ni wadja ajisitia na irika kuburwa mu. Kuko ni vitabi vijo. Niri ndi zafatu. So ni kuye zuniko. Niko vivu. So if it is not treated. The healthy eye also will be affected. So. Questions on glaucoma. Oh, well, more question, then we go on for the year and uh, we finish this presentation. So we have congenital anomalies of the year. In general, it affects one over 6,000 births, and incidence is higher in Japanese and Indian is called in a virgin. 
So, okay, don't you know the reason? Japanese, is it related to the atomic bombs and so on? Maybe. So, it is more common in males. 90% are unilateral, so some are bilateral. So, they can be isolated or associated with the other abnormalities. Because I want to syndrome is a trisomy, and I want to say, and so on. So here on this diagram, we have an example of microtia. So small, small ears. Uh, you can see uh, for type one, type two. So there are a distribution here we will not read. But in type four, is as if there is no no ear at all. So, Jaguarini, Namakroti, around Vajama Kumani, need to men and Navahim Bagusto, so Najavivaho. So, cannot uh, discuss everything here. So, I note here there is no, there is absence, complete absence of external here. Why Macrotia, they are married to severe deformity. So, uh, in a disease, one of the diseases we see also uh, commonly in Rwanda is the cholesteatoma of the middle ear and the inner ear, or of the temporal bone. So it's called cholesteatoma, ariko is in a year in the critical keratoma, kukundi va kuri keratin, nigga keratin, vivo birahan, anything. So we may sing how you can have a bit kita epidamosis, a whole urubu, rugu, rukora invagination, ruki in Jerangimbere, mukin Jeramoru Gasano Rufuns, a hair juru, no, no. Yeah, when the So bone, temporal bones here, and it destroys them, as you can see here. Otherwise, uh, you can it can look like a cancer, but when you do it by OC, you just find that these cat in debris and uh, grocery before before you do before you do uh but you do biopsy, for example, so the complete excision is the proper treatment of it. So this is frequent, of course. So a cancer, the cancers of, of the ear are a few. I think I have so far only seen one case in Rwanda here. Yeah. It was very aggressive for Yamuram, temporal bone, and to be also in Rumu together and a cumi. Ah, yeah, it is a very aggressive tumor. So here we have a ceruminous adenocarcinoma. So you know, cerumen is the bira bukuru with canine. So it means it's a cancerizing from glands which make cerumen. So usually affecting men, you see the edge and uh, they have a local pain. It tends to recur rockery, uh, but it metastasize very rarely. So meaning that it is not very aggressive. So it looks like an adenoid cystic carcinoma. Uh, even here on the histology, where we have small cysts, angarimo, venubiakuru, these are cysts. Then you have cells around there which are have black nuclei. So treatment will be an block resection, meaning that and block, you must make sure you remove it as a whole and once. And we've around it with a normal tissue to, to ensure uh, there is a negative margin. So usually they, uh, they add the radiation therapy. Uh, so that's what we can say about the ear. Otherwise, other diseases, Zika and Jezo, but we need our machine more for anybody. So I even mean, think you give me a clinic to find your cover. Well, now T is a good one. So I mean, Mozawa and Avana, which has a vice remunity, a machaza, a general symbol, a vice remunerative democratic. So these are for anybody. So no quick ramo, and see them just about if you call it a quick ramo. Uh, you do otoscope for comes kareva mimbere mugu kareva ko and then perforation of the tympanic membrane the took place or not. So these are things you check. Ah, uh, inenwa la yiga njani chronic ni otitis media inflammation of the middle ear. So attention is tympanic membrane. Of course. So this is frequent. Mubana. 
bakagira bakagira umuriro bakagira vomiting noze and so on uh, it is frequent but kuyibona no gushyira otoscope ukareba mu gutwi ukabona ko tympanic membrane is inflamed sometimes there is a pus formed inside there so the treatment will be just uh, strong antibiotics to this one so if you have done a sensitivity test ukamenyango no uruhe mutiza ba sensitive so the the even the people so never in neurologic aba aba takaza kumva so that is neurological it is not anatomical usually understand that there is no anatomical region it's just a physiological issues maybe the nerves having problems and so on so that's all in general for this presentation so if you have a question you can ask So if no question, then I ask mine. So the anterior cyst is it said to have what origin? Is it developmental non-inflammatory, developmental inflammatory? Is it just inflammatory, both and B or none of these? So someone with an answer can open your microphone and, uh, and talk. Nobody is following. Tell us what is the right answer. B. B. Yeah. That one. Okay, the answer is the A. So it is a developmental issue. We go epithelium uh week from which epithelium from which we should have the enema but it is not inflammatory so the second question the entire system may rarely transform into a meroblastoma dentinoma or lymphoma Ameroblastoma. Yes, it is ameroblastoma, as I said. And I gave an example of the case I saw myself. The enterocyst assist into ameroblastoma and then into ameroblastic carcinoma, and all arising from a person with infected teeth. So a bony heart structure in the middle of the heart, the parrot is genetic in origin, 
and inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. The diagnosis is made through clinical appearance. So what condition? So, first of all, we'll have to know which is bone hard among these ones. Sorry. Okay, so thorus palatinus, because others they are soft. Thorus palatinus. So a 71 year old woman has a, has had headaches for six months. She has a dull pain in the her right eye. Fundoscopy examination reveals the findings shown here. So we have uh, some vessels which are dilated and so on. Uh, which of the following mechanisms is most likely to produce these findings? So it can be no kumenya or go a fit no kamenya risk factors that. So that in Opal Chivaza Chirimo Chirimi was a limit. First of all, we will identify which, which is the disease, then which is its factors among this one. And the control diabetes meritus, long standing systemic hypertension, prolonged exposure to sunlight, decreased the absorption of aqueous humor, tumor suppressor gene limitation, and so on. So first of all, what would be the condition, the disease? Tinobrostoma. Okay, maybe because you have seen a, a, a picture of the tinobrostoma having this, this was like this. I recall the tinobrostoma is a disease of children. How we get it? We when you move the extremely rare i have never seen it in it in a, in the people age more than 10 years okay glaucoma you can think about the glaucoma because of the headaches yeah it extended due to pain in, in one eye and so maybe the the increased uh, size of the, the vessels is due to the incre uh, increase in intracranial uh, pressure. So what among these yeah. mechanisms are uh, causes of uh, glaucoma? Decrease the reabsorption of... Okay. So otherwise the diabetes matters also, so it can be hypertension it can be uh, but this also they are seen in other diseases such as cataract so d is the the most straightforward mechanism otherwise these others they can be risk factors but not the mechanisms so a four-year-old boy is noted with clumsy and run and run uh, into things uh, on a physical examination, the, he has the findings shown on here. You can see if, uh, the source there, but and this whitish thing. So, mutation involving which of the following genes is the most likely to be present in this board? So, first of all, what is the diagnosis? That's the first question. And then, the mutation involved. So mutations we have. Sorry, what is the answer? What is the disease? Maybe because she is he is four years old. It is retinoblastoma. Okay, yeah, the next thing I recall now is the rococoria. Here. Okay, then rococoria, retinoblastoma, and which gene is involved? It is mutated. It be one. It be one. Eight. Okay, thank you. So we are done with this presentation. If you have. Uh, 
a question if I may ask it. So if no question, then we, we take a break and we we resume at at 2 p.m. Yeah, thank you. Okay, see you at uh, 2 p.m. <laughs> 